Welcome back to the Crypto618 channel and today we are going to cover in this video how to bridge between Binance Smart Chain and Harmony. So the first thing you'll need to do is actually go to the bridge. So I will put a link below in the uh, below in the description, a link to Harmony. So we'll have a quick look at that, what it is. You'll need to go to bridge.harmony.one slash ERC20 or you can actually just go to harmony.one and you can scroll down the bottom and click on bridge and that'll take you to bridge.harmony.one so now that we're on the bridge.harmony let's click on what we want to do is we want to move the assets from Binance over to the Harmony network. So what we need to do is we've got Binance and Ethereum. So we click on Binance and now you'll see we're going from Binance to Harmony 1. And if you want to reverse that and go from 1 Harmony 1 back to Binance, you would select this option here. But for this video, we're just going to click on Binance to Harmony 1. The next thing we're going to do is we've got all of our options here. At the moment we've got our MetaMask linked and it's on the Binance uh, network. So we can click on MetaMask and we can make sure that we're on the Binance Smart Chain network. And wait for that to load. And as you can see, we've got our address, we've got some BNB in the address, and we've got all the choices over here. So what we want to do is if we, uh, we want to select uh, which one it's going to. So we're going from Binance to the same wallet but on the Harmony mainnet. So we click on MetaMask and that's selected. And over here we want to select BEP20. This is the Binance Smart Chain. And then we want to select a token. So the token we want to do for this one is BUSD. There's actually a lot of tokens that you can transfer over. We've uh, previously purchased BUSD and that's it's currently in the MetaMask wallet and you can see it under Binance BUSD we've got $25 uh, in USD there so that's available there and as you can see it's selected our uh, address and it's selected the token so now if we want to transfer this over we just type in the amount that we want to transfer I suggest doing a small amount first time so that uh, you don't make a mistake you don't want to do it with large sums of money and then make a mistake and lose those funds you want to start off with a small transaction and then once you're confident with that then you can work your way up next one thing you want to do is you want to select the address so normally you would use the same address as your metamask wallet unless you unless you have another address we're just going to use the same address then we press continue then we'll get an important message this bridge does not swap tokens it only wraps it never use exchange wallet as in Binance in a bridge and double check the receiver address make sure that the token you are bridging has liquidity or use on Harmony and make sure you select the correct token type if in doubt go to help or FAQ so we go yes to confirm so now we're going to send 25 over and we click on continue then it will tell you how much this will cost $3.65 uh, it says MetaMask may ask you to sign in with slightly higher fees because it has a 150,000 gas limit but you'll be charged similar to the above estimate. So you click on confirm. The first thing it does is register on the, the Harmony network. That's successful. Then it wants to approve the bridge and lock the token. So now we're giving you permission to access your BUSD and to uh, lock it up. So we go confirm. And that's now status is waiting that's in progress and we have success then it wants to bridge the lock tokens on the Binance smart chain and this is where we confirm it's locking the token click confirm and then this is in progress I suggest while you're doing this bridging uh, don't uh, change uh, screens or tabs or anything like that you don't want to interfere with um, the process of what you're doing here 
So you'll need to, once this is uh, done, now I have success on that, we now have to wait for 15 block confirmations. So this will take a few minutes, then the next stage we'll have will be the bridge mint tokens. And we'll just wait for that to come through. Okay, we're now at step four has been completed. We've had success on the 15 block confirmations. And now the last step, number five, which is bridge mint tokens on Harmony. So now it's creating the tokens on the Harmony network. And then they'll, once that is completed, they will then go into your new uh, wallet on the Harmony network. So we'll wait for that to happen and I'll show you what's next. And that's now successful. We can see here. The last thing you want to do, if you haven't done this before, is add bridge BSD to MetaMask. You just click that button. It says to add the bridge token to MetaMask, you need to switch the MetaMask to the Harmony and try again. So we go back up to here and we change our from Binance Smart Chain to Harmony Mainnet. Once that's selected, we go back down and we can click on the bridge. I've already done it in a previous one, but it will add the suggested uh, token. You can click on Add Token because I've already added it. Uh, I don't need to do it again, but you would just click on Add Token. The, the token will be BSC BUS, and this represents uh, the BUSD. Uh, on the Harmony Network. So I'm just going to click cancel because I've already added it and then we can close that. So now if we want to have a look at our MetaMask wallet we can see that we've been given 0.01 as well as our asset. So we've had originally 5 B, uh, BUSD in there and we've added another 25. So now we have a total of 30 BUSD over on the Harmony mainnet, which we can then use. If we want to reverse the process, if we want to reverse the process, all we need to do is make sure that we're on the Binance. Instead of Binance to Harmony 1, we need to go from Harmony 1 back to the Binance network. Then we will select BEP20, and then we will select the token that we have, the BSUSD. And we can check that it's correct because it actually tells us that we have available 30 BSC BUSD here. So all we would need to do is put that number in here, 30, and then we'd use our address and press continue and go through the same thing. And that would take uh, the tokens from here and actually burn them and unlock the ones back on the Binance uh, mainnet. So that's how easy it is to transfer between the two. The same process works for Ethereum. So if you've got any questions, drop them down below. I'll be happy to help. Thanks, guys. Bye.